On the 24th of April, 2015, Hubble celebrated 25 years in orbit, and the world celebrated with it. As part of the global celebrations, ESA Hubble launched the Ode to Hubble video competition, and the results were remarkable. To celebrate the public contribution to the Hubble mission, the Ode to Hubble competition encouraged people across the globe to produce creative videos to highlight how Hubble had inspired them. In the Born in Hubble's Lifetime category for those 25 years and younger, the winners were Haley Davies and Martin Helmich. And here they are to talk about their winning video. Um, okay, our video is... Um... I guess it has like some stop motion to it. We have photos though, that Hubble took. And it basically goes through uh, how we started seeing the stars from sort of like from the ground. We couldn't get up there. We were able, able to paint. And how through science and through Hubble eventually, step by step, we were able to actually have a set of eyes in space to see the universe. The winner of the second category for the over 25s created a very different ode. Desiree de Palacio combined images of the universe with her own photography of our planet and of the human form to show how Hubble has inspired her. 
Well, uh, my video is divided into in two parts. In the first part, I make a little reflection on the fact that Havel discoveries had on me. And in the second part, I show uh, of my own, uh, a sequence of my own creation photograph that we are inspired um, by Havel images. The powerful videos created for the competition are a testament to Hubble and to the artists, space enthusiasts and astronomers it has inspired over the last quarter of a century. The shortlist and the entries that were not chosen include many more videos well worth watching. Take a look and explore the realms of creativity hours of hard work and the unique takes on what an ode to Hubble might look like. Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.